Imagine that you are developing a website with a complex registration process. This process should consist of four stages. The initial stage, contact information stage, work experience stage and final confirmation stage. The user should be able to move back and forth across the stages to fill them up. Your main goal is to separate these stages to allow each stage to develop independently. You also want to easily add new registration steps in the future. The state design pattern is best suited for developing this functionality. The state is a behavioral design pattern that allows an object to change its behavior when its internal state changes. It encapsulates different behaviors as separate state objects, allowing the object to move between states while keeping its interface consistent. First, let's create the registration process class, which maintains a reference to the stage object that defines the current stage of the registration. There are also two methods, next stage and previous stage. Then, the stage interface defines the methods each concrete stage should implement. In our case, they are the same, next stage and previous stage. After this, let's create the concrete stages, initial stage, contact information stage, work experience stage and confirmation stage. Each stage knows which one succeeds and precedes it, and we can develop them separately. The overall flow is the following. When the user enters all the required information, and clicks the next button, the next stage method on the registration process class is called, which calls next stage on the current stage. The stage itself knows which stage should be the next, and after that, the registration process can perform all required changes on the screen based on the new stage. There are three actors in this design pattern. The context is a class that maintains an internal state and contains a reference to the current state object. It delegates requests to the current state. The state is an interface that defines the methods for handling requests. Concrete states are classes that implement the state interface and provide the behavior associated with a specific state. One of the key advantages is cleaner code. This pattern allows you to put different behaviors in separate classes, making the code more organized and easier to maintain. Additionally, it provides flexibility, as the context can switch between other states easily, allowing dynamic behavior changes. Another benefit is adherence to the open-closed principle. You can add new states or behaviors without changing existing code. Also, the context code becomes more straightforward and easier to understand, as each state handles its behavior. However, this design pattern also has some drawbacks. It can add complexity, especially when managing many states and transitions. Furthermore, managing the order of state transitions and ensuring correct behavior can be tricky, leading to potential bugs. That's all about the state design pattern. See you in the next video.